Hey guys, Finlux here, back with our semi-blind playthrough of Wildermyth. So last time, we changed to, uh, we got to chapter three of the Gorgon campaign. And, um, the world is gradually beginning to flood. And so we're, uh, we're gonna start moving a little bit. All right, so now is the question. I would say we're at the point where I don't necessarily want to recruit a new person, a totally new person. Um, <clears throat> I don't, I'm going to be honest, I don't really remember most of these people. Um, obviously, he's got crow stuff. You got the tail, which gives him speed, extra stunt chance, and dodge. He can peck, he has extra dodge chance, and he can scratch. Uh, let me just... I mean, I'm pretty sure... I'm just gonna look at the achievements real fast. I was pretty sure we had the crow-related one. Mm. Trying to... No? Uh, hmm. Yeah, blind 20 enemies with Crow Scratch or Crow Peck. Alright, we could do... Um, oh, abilities. Well, yeah, he's only got one at the moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gets a bonus to all campaign level tasks based on age. Well, I mean, he's gonna he's gonna be young, I would imagine. We could do more hen because he's got cool stuff. Um, gear. Okay, so dagger and this stuff. The problem is they're tier one, which is not great. So there you go. If you're in chapter three, you get tier one stuff still, so. Um, mm, but. They could potentially do some damage, you know, especially if he stunts. And he's only done A Mortha guy thing. Sharpshooter. Oh, there you go. And through shot. Hmm. Choose two. We're definitely going to want Sharpshooter because it does extra damage. Through Shot might be really fantastic. Um, sharpshooter just gives you extra range. You could do Archery, which is you counterattack, which could be fantastic, but... Through Shot can be really great. So I guess we'll do that. Recruit 5 LP. So he's... Yeah, I mean, he's super cheap. He's cheaper than the last guy. And we're in the next chapter. So, yeah. But we don't need another warrior. We need another ranged person. You know? So let's do... Let's do... Him. <clears throat> let's do him. hot-headed peacemaker, which is weird, but yeah. Mether and Wrath went into town amid, amid a hum of tension and talk. Weird way always this boisterous? Morin's just slain a monster. Something got all the way up here? Nasty thing was trying to creep up from the field. Morin took care of it, though. It was something to watch. It was gross. 
He had the young and old tucked away before the beast even got close. Very sweet about it, though. Managed, to not, to, managed not to scare the children. This whole area is supposed to be flooded, though. Where is he now? Out by the barns, keeping kids from poking the carcass. You want to use a stick to poke it, fine. But it has to be at least as long as your arm. Nobody touch it. I'll know if you did. You'll get a rash. There a word way then? Well, just the one. So not at the moment anymore. Just when you settle down and get the garden started. Fate has other plans. Sounds like you've got quite the knack for taking them down, though. We're looking for that. We? Mether Stice. Loxley's Legends. I've heard of you. Morin. We've heard of you, too. Alright. Cool. Well... Uh, yeah. Yep, flood. A tile will flood. See, it's... Yep. Alright, Phantom of the Range. Nighttime in the blooming season. Gulber? Walbert, why are you whispering? Oh, wait, were you thinking about all those skeletons up on the ridge side? Anomalies aren't necessarily omens, but the... Or... Hmm? Hmm? Or what, are you just poking me to poke me? You'll notice he's got like, in addition to the white in his hair, or the gray, he's got like lines on his face now. You know, it's the signs of old age. How old is he now? 48. Yep, 10 years past. Almost 50. And his... Retirement age is 55. Now, the way retirement works, because we're not going to do it in this chapter, is... It's not like you're in the middle of the campaign and they just retire. It basically tells you, hey... They're going to retire at the end of the chapter, right, is what ends up happening. But I think, I think if they can make it to the end, then they're good. They retire at the end of the next one, right? So if there was a fourth chapter, I think he'd still be okay because we weren't given the warning this time. You don't, you, you retire once you hit your retirement age, right? So while we're playing, you're good. And then during the transition, years get added. And then it's like, okay, you're going to retire now. You're going to retire at the end of this chapter. Right? So I think he'd retire at the end of chapter four. But, you know. No, it's... Call me sentimental. Or maybe it's that we're old, suddenly. I was thinking of younger nights. We'd camp and tell each other bear stories. Yeah, they've been doing this for... 20 years now. Hmm, nostalgia. Strikes me too. Here we are at another healthy fire. I don't remember our reasoning for it. The bears, I mean. It was a long fascination I had, and I think you were willing to share it with me because you were kind that way. Well, I'm not sure. Probably more it provoked me, maybe. The challenge of mining one narrow vein like that for stories. There are some good bear legends out there. I don't think we knew the good ones. Tell me one now. What, right now? Am I being unfair? Blue bulks are the silent mountains, darkly blocking a low spring moon. The grasslands below are a wide black bed. An occasional snore of wind rustles out of them. Walbert, you... Well, let me think. Stories of bears are welcome anywheres. Alright, so once in spring, when birds were all returning... And the evening darkens, and Gulber spins his yarn. A red-furred bear, not black, gold, or brown, bustling in the bracken and stripping berries off the bushes. Nocturnal things tick and whistle, they scamper unseen as coals cool to red. Walbert sits up then. Guh? They must have slept. Hmm. Comes the sound of something moving through camp. That Thalia shouldn't... Shouldn't be knocking around the night, looking for us. Peering from his tent, he sees it. A shaggy blue shape, huge, 
long of snout with frying pan paws. Into a piney cleft it ambles. Gulber's snores are anything but brittle. Crickets quinkle. The wet grass gleams. Okay, so Walbert holds vigil over camp, or Walbert is called to follow. Let's check the wiki. Okay, if you hold vigil over camp, you get a legacy point and some spell threads. Yes, okay. See, I don't know if this is... It's kind of a problem. That's okay. We could do this, I guess. Alright, so... <clears throat> this is basically your chance to get the bear transformation. Right? Um, so we're going to follow. Pausing only to arm himself. And he's solo, by the way. He disappears into the dark. The black vegetation seethes, seeming to grow with each step, and the night becomes deeper and more hollow, a dome being carved out from below. I'll only go till the sky starts paling. How's that? Walbert? Walbert, you out foraging early? He walks in a veiled place. Am I walking still? Am I even actually awake? Just thinking stuff. I feel noisy. Be careful, Walbert. You're in someone's space. I've read them all ten times. They're no help. What? Oh. Your belly's like a bell. Let's wad it with some muting, hmm? You're inviting me to do what? Inviting you to share some talk, but more importantly, some food. Bread of a hundred years. Bread of a... Uh... Yes, and so tell me, scamprous man of the wasting world. You followed here a great pitiful ghost. I did? I guess I did. The bear. Yeah, why'd you do that? Well, it's all right not to know. Don't worry about this, by the way. There's vents up in the rocks above us, which is evidently my handiwork. So she's a ghost as well. You live in a cave. That's nice of you to say. She drops the bag by the side of the heatless flames. I was going to warm up the bread, but you forget sometimes how your home feels, or how it is, to other folks. My name's... did I tell you it? It's Royce. Royce. Royce? I didn't tell you it, in fact, I remember. You're quite kind. Hmm? You know what the funny thing is, is that I said I'd go until the sky started paling, and then walked into, what, eternal twilight? I don't know, yeah, I followed that bear, pursued it, like I wanted it to tell me something. You ever think, like, wow, who am I right now? And then be like, oh, I'm still exactly me. I didn't remember me, but I'm still the boy who dreamed he lived with bear cubs. Yes, that's funny. That's pretty funny. My name is Walbert. I also should have said. Walbert. He was a mighty bear, Walbert. The cold fire starts to smell of Red Mountain Sage. He had names, too. Among the hill painters, he was em Emruic, King Blue. Among the wild things, he was known by his herald scent, his brief, careful stride. The hill painters always looked warily for his trail, and wherever they wandered, it was there to find. Whose story is this, or is it yours? They knew his trail by the bones, the way he'd leave a skeleton to gleam, 
more thorough eater than other bears, Emruik, our King Blue. He was born hungry, in agony, I now think, from his appetite. When I was young, I had this thirst to glimpse him. You're asking what? Who it belongs to? What I'm telling you, it's just, it's history. Their history and his, mine and newly yours. You notice she has a tattoo. It's like a bear paw. And you called this bread of a hundred years? 93 years to be precise, but time is nothing here. So it's as if it was baked yesterday. Walbert pulls the bag open. A loaf is there, fresh and soft looking. And I was good at bread. I really was. Just don't eat it quite yet. Hmm? He lived in agony, Emruik, this impervious looking beast, and the pain of hungering drove him to retreat from all he knew, to places where he could cool his suffering gums in the blood of unfamiliar things. The bear had this consideration? Excuse me. Bears have a great many considerations, but anyway, what it was, was there came along a woman who felt entitled to a glimpse and encounter a thrill with the great bear called King Blue. And again, this was you? Me how that hunting song starts? Is it through the trees or to them? Shh, you smell that? Boy, scuttle up now. As long as there's three of us together, I doubt he'll... Both of you, up a tree, hurry! See, that looks pretty freaking terrifying, if I'm honest. Leap. Turn away, Emruik. Great bear, go, run. The chief lost her life. Her bones were picked clean for her son to find. Such things happen, no matter what our intentions are or how skilled we might be. No, yeah, that's true. It's hard to shrug your shoulders, though, with a burden like that on you. She's talking about herself. I'm dead now. Everything weighs the same when you're a ghost, so she got eaten as well, I suspect. Hmm, and it's fine. I lived nine years longer. Oh, no. Well, I mean, she died later, I guess. I baked bread in a small house in barren hills where my mother was sick, and I saw her waste and die. I tried to forget what had happened. But one day, he found my door, the chief's son. He'd honed his art, killed old Emruik, a mighty deed. Spent a while with me then, remembering. And next, he killed me, that boy. He died bitter and old, uselessly, regretting all he'd done. Yep. He died old, though, you're saying? Kind of seems unfair. Well, maybe, if you're suffering the whole time. Unfair? I thank you for that much sympathy. How nice it is, suddenly. Come on, walk up here. Walbert climbs after the woman on quiet rocks, up towards a breathless sky, past trunks that never bend, leaves never dampened with dew. It's only us most of the years. Emmerich roves restlessly, this place where he once was king. I also. I overlook an ocean, I sometimes feel. I was submerged in it, dark, calm roaring dark. Before I became awake to the great bear's pain, and I swam up from death, never certainly deciding to. I made myself the keeper of this coast, where oblivion washes up on a shore, blued in life's shadows. My little cave down there, think of it as a lighthouse. I'm here to send you back when Emruik calls you here, because in his fathomless hunger and disappointment, that is what he does. 
to this borderland he calls Night Curious Men, and I send them home. I always have. But not always will? Hmm? Seems to me I'm being asked something. It's beautiful here. We go on here, patiently. One day, I do believe someone will come. Someone will walk here who will know what it is he stays for, Emruik, and go meet him and send him on. But it doesn't have to be you. I should say, don't let it be you. If you know no way to love a hopeless tyrant, lonely, hungry, hateful, if you think you cannot understand him, go back. It's more than okay. For though he is a ghost, he's led you to this place of betweens. He can kill you here, I think, and happily will. Choose. Walbert turns away, or Walbert goes to battle the bear. So if you turn away, at least the wiki says you get some kind of cloak. Um, if you battle the bear and succeed, you get the transformation, which is the bear. But if you lose, you die. So let's try it. We only have to lose... The only thing we have to lose is our life, right? I think I have to try. And I'm saying you may feel you have to, but... Well, but you know that, huh? Sorry, ignore me. No, I'm sorry. I can sense that you have some trepidation, right? Suddenly it's possible this all disappears. It'll be okay. Underneath your worry, you know that. I'll only ask you to trust yourself. Not me. Prepare for what your heart says is coming. Following the curving land, once more, Walbert spots a shuffling ghost light that hues through night. This is what happens, maybe, when you refuse to go peacefully. You become like something else. Only a roving rememberer where once you ruled. The forest is full and empty. The tree, the hill, the plant, the stone. All expected geometries are there. They have the heft of shadows, the scent of silence. Walbert and the bear's great shape. Go on and on, treading through this labyrinth of darks and impressions. Till, at some meaningless point in its course, the tired phantom goes no more. He stills. You and I are bound together, maybe unlucky for us both. The bear turns with a noise like a small sweeping wave on a calm coast. You are dead. Why do you still go around suffering? Waiting? Hmm. So, we'll leave, both of us. We'll leave here. Home to the good green world. Leave your long hunger in the dark here. It'll seep into absence. Why he makes this claim, Walbert's not even sure, but he recognizes the truth as it leaves his mouth. And the phantom stares. Isn't that right? Just stares. That's the offer you've been waiting for, and I'm the one who would offer it. I'll do that for you. You'll know breeze, and the sighing of trees, and the heat of sun rays. The taste of fish. Ah, it's so good stairs. I'll only insist we use my body, of which I'll be the master, hmm? Stairs, as if weighing him, as if irresolute. But then, speeding, solidifying, swelling, Emruik, the mightiest bear ever to walk this range, heaves up to his hind paws. I guess you want me to prove that I've got the power to rule you. So I will. Phantom Bear. Its limbs shimmer as it moves, hair like night clouds with the moon inside them. Alright, so he is there. 10 health, 1 armor, 1 warding. Onslaught, 3 to 4 damage. Attacks target and enemies adjacent to the target. 
and crush. Okay, so if he gets to you, you basically will take, you'll lose in three turns. So, we'll grab the sapling, we'll interfuse again, and we'll get the stuff. We will wild grasp, and that alone was enough to kill it with a critical hit. Cool. Okay. And we only get one mage skill and three regular skills. Okay. Naturalist, Inspiration, Heroism, or Upgrade Airlift. All right. You can always re-roll them. Uh, so Naturalist is Advanced Interfusions, which a plant gives you Vine Wrench, or a tree. Passive, upon interfusing with a tree, enter Gray Plane. So you interfuse with a tree and you become invisible, which is pretty cool. And then you can use tree call on the trees, which basically tra uh, teleports you to the trees. Vine wrench, um, I think it's kind of like what we just did where it grabs them, but you move them instead. Uh, inspiration gives Jason allies plus one bonus damage and spell damage. Eh. Once per combat, Walbert gains plus one action point and attack actions only cost one action point this turn. So basically you get an extra action point, which I think consumes an action point. So it refunds it and then you get two attacks, which is fine. Let's go with Naturalist because Naturalist is pretty cool. And a shield. Um... Let's just salvage it. We need ingots anyway. All right. Things don't have to be this hard all the time. <sighs> we will both be challenged, I think in our journey together. Remember our deal, hmm? This life is mine. You're welcome, passenger, inside it, but I can throw you out. As he enters, Walbert knows the feeling of having company is in his heart. Hmm. He's got the tattoo now. Royes. You've made a promise. You're taking him with you. What will happen here? I mean, to you. Me? Myself? Me? I'll finally just rest. I'll just rest. Finally. A bite of my life's bread is all you need. Make sure to tell me what you think of it before you disappear. Walbert met me in the wild barley. What drew him there? Let's get an explanation. Hey, what's with the face paint? Wait till you hear his story. Let's get our things together. I'm sure the firelight version will be better. Good night, then, and good fortune go with you. To a well-contented end. May it, be, may it be peaceful and distant. That's nice. But, here's the thing. It's like we're going to build a station to get resources, but hopefully it doesn't flood. Right? That's all we can do. We need... Uh, let's see. Hide and fabric to... Well, we have 10 hides right now. We need more fabrics. Okay, two fabrics. And it's going to take about 20 days. All right, Morhen's ready. So we got to go. We got to move. This tile is flooded. Yep. 
Yep. So. Good news is we have two hunters with us, so that'll speed up a little bit. Okay, produces multiple fabrics. Let's go here. Let's scout it. With you guys. And they're going. Okay. Lyran Wilds. And it's already flooded, right? How are we doing? From infested tiles, yep. Alright, guys. Morin, you better pull your weight. This dude's weak, but. Oh, excuse me. Huff, huff, huff. Keep going, Nora. Keep. You're almost. Conk. Eek! Stay back. I, I know how to use this. Take it easy, Wrath. Hey, Mether, are you okay? Sorry, yeah. You can put that weapon away. You first. And me third? My blade's not meant for you, rest assured. We're out here chasing Gorgons. Ah, oh, headache. Gorgons? Ha, well, you're a bit late. I just snuck under the noses of, like, a dozen little beastlings. I guess they were all snoozing. Snoozing? No, I'm just very quiet. You'd all do better talking over a meal. Hmm. Come with us, you'll be safer. Me? But... Do you have beer? Whiskey. Oh, we are on the same side. <laughs> I love that. As I drink some beer myself. That evening, the woman spills her story. Nori Mud is her name, a treasure hunter. Was a miner who commissioned me to retrieve a necklace, a family heirloom, I guess it is, thing he left behind in a rush. It's not easy country. The mine's tucked in there pretty deep. It's where the trouble's kind of centered, we were told. The place was trampled into, trampled into a couple weeks back. And you're claiming you got in and got back out and didn't raise an alarm. How'd you manage that? Can't you guess? I hope it's just like you threw them a couple juicy steaks. It was the ventilation shaft. The vent? You what? Tied a rope? Which you threw some steaks, juicy steaks down it. Hmm. And I'm about the limberest woman my age you'll meet. Is that a pickup line? Could we maybe try the same thing? Is it difficult to locate? Want me to draw you a map? Oh, yeah. Sure? Probably be good. Oh. Well, so if you think of what a mine looks like, it's right on top of that. I see. Sunrise. What's there? Here's our vent. It's good. Let's keep our voices down. They scramble down rock faces, quiet as they can. Mountain-smelling mist helps deaden the sound. That treasure woman, Nori, you think she's falling behind? Fixing to loot our bodies? What I think is, show folks your strength, your merit, you'll make them trustworthy. Yeah, you're like, hey, I'm not gonna mess with you, you know? As they assemble there, an eerie, echoing gurgle growl grows in the belly of the mine. How we want to do this part? The gaping maw part? Well, through the vent shaft, let's drop in and surprise them. Or, thinking if we plug that vent, we can make them fight out here. Let's check the wiki. Okay, so it's basically... If you go down the shaft, you get stealth, which is... All party members are invisible to start. And Courage, all party members gain plus two damage and potency for three turns. Or, start combat with Cunning, which is flanking attacks. This combat deal one damage, plus one. And Intimidation, all foes suffer two damage to start the mission. I would say the most efficient damage would be go down the shaft. Through the vent shaft, let's drop in and surprise them. There are events that are similar to this where you drop down and 
and characters are separated, like the rope breaks or something. So it seems like this is not one of those. Better just jump in sometimes. Back up the hill? Seems like. They climb again under a lightning sky to assemble over the narrow black vent. Imagine this just empties into a poop pit. We'll be framed in light if we stand here much longer. The sun bids us in. Okay, stealth and courage. And we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight enemies. And a water spirit. Okay, but it's close enough we can probably just get to it. Our gear... Well, it probably won't get upgraded. We could do a skinning knife. Oh, your staff. That would be good. I think this dude needs his staff upgraded. Oh, except he's not going to be able to get there. Well, we can only see two enemies at the moment. You would have to go infuse and then whack them. We could try it. Oh, we can use arches too, but... Okay. It worked out pretty well. Um... Okay, Morin. We'll go here and try and just shoot it then. Through shot. And a stunt. Which is what? Oh. Okay. This is fire. The dagger is water. Fire fire is kind of cool. When it stunts, it basically shoots fire onto three enemies and damages them. They're all all they all of them are pretty cool, to be honest. Okay. Um, so my thought would be go here. Get in position. Do we wanna I mean we could open it, maybe? Or not anymore, no. And then James, same thing. Go right there. That way we're out of the... I don't... I think if we end our turn not out... I don't think passing through it counts. Okay. I don't know what happened there, but... I think... Oh, well, there's the Bogmore. Great. Okay. Um... Alright, Wrath, you need to open the door, I guess. Or James. James, fine, too. Oh, okay. Um, can you get there? No. Oh, so close. Like, one point away. The problem is, if we go close, I bet... Well, that thing's gonna run in. That's that's the problem. And if we get closer... Okay, well, either way, we gotta, we gotta shoot it, I think. 64% chance. Basically a 50-50 shot. That's annoying. And, of course, yeah. I wonder if it'll, maybe it'll just stay right there. That would be great. Let's move, let's move here and we'll guardian it, guardian it up. Um, do I silk step? Okay, well there's the Gorgon. Let's hope it, oh, it's moving this way. Oh, don't do anything, please don't, okay. 
That's a little disappointing, but oh hell yeah, Wrath, you are awesome. This is perfect. That's fantastic. Uh, well, okay, 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 okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You go, you go right here. I wasn't expecting to be running this much today. Yeah, you definitely did run around a lot. So we'll get the tier one water staff. It's not great. I mean, you know, a tier two would have been better, but arcane branch of hard for works for me. Stun damage is down, but it doesn't matter because you get an extra attack. Okay, defeat all foes. There was eight, we've killed one, two, three. So two are still hidden. And we could see three. But you don't want to fight them like that. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, that's that's cleared. Can we? Well, he's hidden, though. Okay. Oh, well, no, that's not close enough. Splinter Blast. Four damage, four shred, four pierce. You could do Shark Trap. Yeah. This would probably be the best thing to do not great. It's not great. That's the problem. Did he block? Is that what happened there? He blocked it. Well, that's crap. Okay, the Gorgon was hurt, though, so that's good. Alright, you, we're gonna go right here. And they're too big, so we could probably go right here, actually, and it won't. And then we'll go here. That way we're sort of out of the way. I mean, you could do a through shot. Which actually might be... Ooh, Mether. That's the problem. Mether doesn't really have a lot. He's got six hit points and zero armor. Let's try doing what we can here. Where do we wait? Let's wait. Let's wait. Oh, minus courage. Well, that's crap. Alarm. What happened there? I heard something. Okay. Um. Sure. Go for it. Weaken him up. Oh, you dick. I mean, I, I mean, it's not your fault. You just were very unlucky. And then you. Uh, you... I mean, we could do arches. You could hit him. Well, that'll... that'll... See, this is the problem. It basically... All it does is pin him. Is that tools? Ooh. Hmm. Yep, yeah, okay. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Are right, you on the other hand, we're gonna strike. Strike you. Yep. 50% chance you're gonna get covered in... Alright, right on. And then you on the other hand. Uh, you know what? Do we want to move? Uh, mm. Yeah, we'll move here. You stunt, which doesn't really help. At this point. Yep, see they're trying to break down the door. Enemies can't open doors. Although I think some of them can. Maybe some Draven or something. Some enemies, I believe, can open doors, but most have to break it down. So you know there's one in here trying to break down the door. Um Okay. 
Okay, you. Silk step uh, interfused with the tools right there. And then let's hit up the arches actually right here. We'll create a, another little. Or, or right here. There we go. A little more cover, and then you can run behind that and just, you know. Did it break open? Not this turn. Okay. Then we'll wait. We will ambush. Sure. We'll wait. Guardian. Really? Oh, there you go. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, there we go. Blocked. Disappointing. Wrath, on the other hand. Prepared shot, which will extra two damage. There you go. Minus hidden. Oh, you can still move? That's cool. Why not? And then Guardian. Where... Was the other enemy out here? Oh, there's... Wait. It's probably in there. It's gotta be in there. Right? Okay, there it is. In that case, we'll, uh... It's gonna charge, and I believe his ambush will stop it, so... Uh, what is that? Oh, Bone Lance. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, but we probably want to interfuse with this one instead, so it's got a bigger... Because this, like, if it gets stopped here, I don't think it'll be able to hit it, but this will be able to hit all this stuff. Oh, can we Bone Lance right there? Oh, uh, it's not long enough of a range. Okay, that's not a problem. What about... Uh... I don't know how that works, but I think... I'm pretty sure he still gets the good cover. I don't know how it works with the corruption. Maybe the corruption will damage it? Oh, look at that. Pinned. Yeah, I'd rather not destroy the bookcase. Oh, you dodged. Good job, I guess. Go... Good for you. There you go. Rager has died. All right, Jame, you got a you got a Mether and Jame are now rivals. Why? Who knows? It doesn't matter. Okay, so he only gets three options, which is kind of strange, but whatever. Engage Heroism or Wind Walk. Jame engages a foe as a swift action. If I was going to do it, well, Heroism, which is once per combat you gain an action point, or a Wind Walk, which is once per combat as a swift action, call on a Wind Spirit to guide him to a distant tile. Let's do Engage. That way he could be like, tonight, you, right? And enemies are like, no. Right, so. See, there you go. Thalia will retire at the end of this chapter. Uh, but I don't like this one. Let's take a look at her, though. Her stats. Retirement age, 45. Right, because she hasn't. See, she's already past the age. She didn't get any of the, the hooks or the bonuses to extend her retirement age. So, yeah, I mean, a warrior after 45 is, yeah, it's probably realistic. But, yeah. So we'll just salvage it for the ingot. Okay, 
Star Slate Pauldrons, Horn and Leather to keep your foes away. Warding. Um, probably Jame gives him one warding. Morhen would get three. Let's give Jame. Because at least then he'll have one warding, warding so he can run through some of the stuff. Okay. Geist is back. Boom. Alright, next. You're going there. You... I was like, bridge. Uh, I don't think you need a bridge. Scout. Okay, so they're scouting there. Okay, you can attack. Uh, I think we could maybe stop. So... I'm pretty sure... This is not the final part of the chapter. And also you can tell, I don't know if you guys can tell, these have different hues, right? This is blue, this is like a the uh, as far as like the infestation, right? This is blue, this is brown, this is a blue. Yeah, see, deepests, gorgons, gorgons. Um, this doesn't show a fight, right? It's just, and it's it shows like a compass marker instead. Not the ring, the symbol. Um, so presumably you meet them there and they're like oh the secret is actually here and you gotta go somewhere else right so oh and we're fighting the deepest oh Thrixel oh we haven't fought Thrixel this campaign at all yet but we'll stop here we'll stop here anyway guys that is it for today thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I, I really do. Like, I know... I know how it is to... spend your time. You know? Um... So I do... I do appreciate the fact that... you know, if you guys are spending your time with me... or just watching this stuff, I really do hope you enjoy it. Like, seriously. Um... As always, guys, questions, comments, concerns, good, better, and different... Let me hear them. I do read all of them. I do respond to all of them. Um, again, recommend the game. It's fantastic. And uh, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, I'm going to say the chicken. I made... Um, I, the, I'm, I, I tend to get, like, bulk stuff and just basically make dinner for, like, a week at a time. And so I got... Uh, what is it? Skinned boneless chicken thighs. Which is way cheaper than chicken breasts and tastier, actually, in my opinion, for whatever reason. And uh, so I just like pan fry them. And then for whatever reason, reason this week, I just like, so I didn't really season them as much. I have like this Himalayan salt block um, that I haven't used in a while. And I was like, oh yeah, I have that. Let's use that. So I just like, stuck them on it as they were thawing or coming to room temperature, right? I pull them out, let them come to room temperature, and then pan fry. But for about 15 minutes aside, and that, um, it seasons them, it, it salts them, basically, right? So, did that, and then just, so, just, just salt, and, uh, you know, I just reheated them and, uh, put a little mayo on them, and they're fantastic. But you have to like mayo. If you don't like mayo, then putting mayo on them is not going to help or matter, right? But it's, uh, it's good. I'm, I'm a simple man. I'm a simple man. That's it. Um, but it was good. So, that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Well then, guys, take care.